Welcome back to Gem and Cozy, everyone. I thought I'd bring you along for today's adventures. I won't be packing too much today because I actually have a massage scheduled scheduled in the middle of the day. So I'm planning on just taking my mail with me, going to the massage, dropping off mail at the post, and then coming home. I've been having some serious neck and back pain, which I've had a lot of tension in since I was in high school. And I'm so bummed because I found someone who was really good before COVID and then COVID hit and I couldn't reach them anymore. So hopefully they're doing okay, but I lost that massage therapist who worked really well with me and I have been looking for someone new ever since. I feel like I'm always really tired after massages though, so I know that today's not going to be a heavy work day, which is totally fine. I'm really making an effort to try to slow down. I'm purposely not doing a shop update for a little while. I still have new inventory and restocks coming my way, but I thought it would be nice if I just took a breather to catch up on orders. I finally got my order count under 200. I really wanted my order count to be under control before I start releasing more products, so I just figured this was the best time to take that pause. My mental health has also been in honestly just a really shitty place for a while now, so I know I need to prioritize that. There has been a lot of family stuff going on and it's just a lot of things happening around me that require a lot of my time and energy to support these people which is fine but it's really really like building up because it's been over a year now and I was actually talking to one of you and it was Alex that shared the term empathy burnout and boy oh boy did that resonate with me so that really helped me just put words to what I've been experiencing and it's just really hard to try to be there for other people and try to help people whether they see what you're trying to show them or not. And then I feel like you don't get enough time to take care of yourself in the process because you aren't prioritizing your own mental health anymore. And I feel like that's something that I struggle with a lot. I just put a lot of energy and time into helping other people. And then I end up in a really bad place. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm making an effort to balance things out, support myself, recognize my own needs. And I think that's really starting off with getting my shop under control or at least to a more manageable place and then also eating better and exercising more because everything has really fallen to the wayside for me and work has just gotten busier and busier which is so exciting but that means I also have to set myself up for better success in the future as well. I'm going to pack this last order and then call it a day before I head out. Oh, this person got five of the You're Doing Grape stickers. And of course, one of my most popular stickers right now, the My Ducks Aren't Quite in a Row that does not want to focus. There we go. Thank you to Anna Maria and everyone else's order that I packed today. This one is headed to a military address. <laughs> you smell the cheese, Safi. You smell the cheese. Oh, look at those big eyes. Tillamook's my favorite. Wait, that, that piece is too big, girly. Just a weedle piece, okay? 
I think I was super hungry once I got back from the massage. So I started cooking this lasagna pasta recipe. I sort of winged it. I really like lasagna, but my boyfriend doesn't. And I wanted to try making a similar one with the corkscrew pasta so that there's more texture. His main issue with lasagna is that the textures kind of get mushy, which I understand. So I got all of the same ingredients and decided to do it with the pasta instead. But clearly I was dehydrated and tired because as I was doing this, I forgot to put the meat in between the layers of pasta. So I had no choice. I put all of the beef on top and I figured I'd just cover it all up with cheese and try to push it underneath the pasta if possible. I realized over time that I am a pretty simple cook and I feel like one pot recipes work best for me or simple things because if it's more complicated, I will just not do it at all. And you just need to find what works best for you rather than trying to turn yourself into someone you're not. While my lasagna pasta was baking, I got some mail delivered, so I thought it was the perfect time to sit down and unbox some new goodies. Oh, I love these. That's a pride little pen. Oh. Love that. So I tested out a new product and I don't want to share it on social media yet because I know everyone's going to be asking when is it coming out and I'm not ready to do any launches anytime soon because I'm trying to take a break. Oh, look how cute they are. Oh, they didn't listen to my directions though. I wanted them to be like further out. The print looks good, but the image is so small. Let's see. Yeah, this one printed correctly. These look awesome. The colors look amazing. It's a nice gloss and they feel very durable. Super cute. I'm bummed about these though because it's still cute but it's supposed to be further out. Like the beer doing a job. I'll contact the manufacturer and see what they can do. And then here's the censored version of the beer doing a, a job. <laughs> Oh, this one has marks on it. We're going to have to do some quality checking. And the rest of everything are just magnets, which are mostly restocks. I think I got a few new designs, though, that I kind of just threw in. <laughs> Here are the Fresh Out of Ducks. That's a restock because we ran out. This one has like some kind of tape on it. That's no good. Mm. Hey, Sassy. Oh, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. <laughs> so I'm looking at my YouTube account and the eligibility to get monetized. So I've met both of these two where I have to hit a thousand subscribers and have at least three uploads in the past three months. But I also need either 3,000 public watch hours in the last year or I need 3 million views for the shorts, which is wild because I do not get anywhere near that many views. 
but I would love to get this account monetized so that I can kind of utilize it more as an additional stream of income, especially if I want to travel more in the future and maybe decrease my work for my shop at some point. So I'm putting this out into the universe so that I can hopefully update you all in the future and be like, we're monetized. I dilly-dallied after I ate my pasta and then when I tried to go back to that table to finish quality checking, it was too dim because it's 4.30 now, so I don't think that I can do it all today, but I really wanted to finish looking at the horrors persist, but so I and the my ducks aren't quite in a row because they're really popular and they're both out of stock right now, so I figured if I could just have like an hour of power and push through, these would be the ones that I really need to <laughs> organize. Unfortunately, there was a lot of debris for this magnet order. I think when it cuts, there's debris from like the outer edges and a bunch of it spread across the designs like that and if I kind of push on it, it does come off but what it's doing is leaving indentations. I don't mind if there's just like one or two because you can't really see it unless you're like tilting it back and forth constantly but when there's a lot and they're kind of big, it bothers me. You see what I mean? I don't even know if you can see it in the sliding. And I used to always wonder, like, why do some of them have these, like, circular imprints on it? Like, I didn't understand where it was coming from. And now, I do, because I'm seeing the grittiness of the magnet cutout pieces. So, I'll have to contact my manufacturer. I'm really- my boyfriend wants to go to Sam's, so I'm gonna join him for that because I'm really trying to- Get better about eating at home so i have some recipes in mind and i'm gonna go with him so that i can get some vegetables i went to kroger yesterday and i was like oh my gosh why are vegetables so expensive <laughs> i really need to go to like an asian supermarket because it's so much more cost effective going there but it's closer for me to just go to kroger so i went yesterday night and i was like I really want some kind of pasta so I went and just got the basics but I think it's cheaper to get it at Sam's or at like an H Mart. You're blocking my way. I feel like she knows when we're trying to leave so she tries to come into an office like am I coming with you? Savvy can you open the door? Girly. Not unless I'm coming too. Happy. Scoochie. <laughs> Silly girl. Oh, I need to squeeze out. You can come out too. There you go. so excited about these peaches i love peaches and nectarines and these are so ripe and you can smell them like as you're pushing the cart around it was amazing i split it up so that we can give some to my boyfriend's family got some chicken salad this is so easy for me to eat of course restocked on the oat milk and i got some tomatoes baby bella mushrooms a bunch of strawberries these are really ripe so i'm gonna have to wash them and just start eating them immediately. You know what? I should just wash them now. And the Southwest Chopped Salad Kits are my favorite from Sam's. I've been hearing really good things about eating olives, so I decided to get some. And I just got like the Members Mark brand. It's a two pack for like eight or nine dollars. They're just okay. There was this one that looked really good that was in basil and some other herbs that was in the refrigerated section. And it was a container about a little smaller than this for I think eight or nine dollars so it's double the price but I think next time I'm gonna try that out
she looks so cute with her head resting on the windowsill. Oh my goodness, Effie. You heard your name? It is the next day, it's Friday, and I wanted to do my nails, so I thought I'd bring you all along so that I can tell you how yesterday went, I guess. So I went to the new massage therapist yesterday, and uh, it was okay. I feel like it's going to be really hard for me to find someone who I really connect with. I had a pretty good experience, but it wasn't as good as my last massage therapist. It's really interesting because when I read this person's description, I was like, oh wow, they sound really seasoned and they have a lot of modalities under their belt. Like she works in lymphatic drainage as well as like sports medicine. So I was like, oh wow, she really knows her stuff. And the massage I signed up for was 75 minutes and she said that she just does like a combination of deep tissue, cupping, like just different things that she feels the person needs. And I was like, okay, let's get a feel for this and just give this whole experience a shot because I've never done cupping before, which is when they put little like put little suction cups on your skin to help with releasing tension as well as improving blood flow. So I did the whole thing and she was like straight to business. So that was different too. I'm kind of used to them kind of having like, like a very specific start and end and then doing everything on one side that they do to the other side, like the symmetry of it. But this person kind of did their own thing. Like I'm not sure if that was intentional or if it was because they asked me what areas I would like to focus on and I told them my shoulders and my neck get really tense chronically. And so I could tell she made an effort to just put more attention there, which I really appreciate. But the introduction just felt very like choppy. I don't really know how else to explain it. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Let's just feel it out. Definitely like the amount of pressure they were applying and everything felt very good. The cupping was pretty cool. I feel like it definitely would have long lasting effects on tightness and increasing blood flow. So that was a cool experience. And I think I would do it again. I feel like the inconsistent pattern, like the approach kind of threw me though. So even at the end, I didn't know like they were done until they were just like, okay, Miss Dana. And I was like, oh, I feel like if you go to massage places enough, they kind of have a routine way of finishing and ending things where you can kind of tell they're winding down. And I just didn't experience that with this person. Not necessarily like a fault to them. It was just a different experience. So I think I'm going to go again um, to give it, I need to feel it out more because the, the major thing is that this person really knows how to grade pressure and I've been to places that don't know how to do that and it's really hard because they'll put the same amount of force and pressure on sensitive parts of your back like the lower parts versus the shoulders where I would prefer more tension if that makes sense. My nails are all done. I'm about to make myself a strawberry matcha. That is it for today's vlog. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you next time.